All right, well, I'm back to uh, working on the speedways, both of them. Um, I did get the uh, the motor board all installed and ran the uh, ran the game a couple of times, and I had some issues with it. But the 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 major problem that I was having is that I wasn't able to get high scores. Um, I was averaging like maybe 300 for a score. And the way you earn scores is by the, the, the road. Here's the, uh, the unit that I have not done yet, but when the uh, road wheel spins, um, there's a little micro switch right here that there's a screw and every time the screw comes around and hits the micro switch it advances the score so when you're not in the accident mode and you're just driving along and the, the road scenery will spin um, the faster it spins the more points you'll score and it's also regulated by the uh, the resistors on the gas pedal. So what I did was I shorted out the resistor so that the road motor would go as fast as it could go. And then I also uh, blocked out the accidents by just sticking a uh, an envelope in here where it reads the accidents so that you could get the best possible score. And even after looming everything up, the best score I could get was a 750 which is too low because it says that at 760 you should be able to get an extended play so I noticed on my other model um, there's a tag and it talks about the uh, the road motor speed and there's an adjustment and I did have it on the on the high score adjustment and still wasn't getting the high scores and it was and, and if you read this it says that on the lower scores uh, you should average between 710 and 790 and on the higher scores uh, you should be able to get 810 to 890 so I made some more adjustments tightened up the chain on the motor and I got a few more points out of it um, but I decided to break the motor down and that's where I'm at right now and I discovered that one of the brushes uh, in the motor is frozen so it's not able to uh, move in or out and um, you know if you don't know how uh, electric motors work um, the brushes are spring loaded so as they as they wear um, they, they they're adjusted in um, so that um, they, they stay with continuity on the on the amateur. Here's one of the brushes that came out and you can see how it's spring loaded on the on the back side there and it pushes up against the uh, the armature and I believe what is going on is that that brush um, is too far away I'm not making a good contact and I'm thinking that once I clean it up and lube it up that you know the motor may spin faster I don't know I'll, uh, I'll find out so uh, that's where I'm at at the moment. Alright, so I've repaired the brush on that motor and I got it uh, installed back into the game. Right there. Um, so what I've done is the crash scan disk which is that backlight plate right in the back there. I put an envelope in between the uh, the wiper blades and the the scan disc itself um, so that there won't be any accidents uh, try to trick the game and then I also ran a jumper uh, across the uh, the resistor for the gas pedal for the road motor so that it'll run as fast as it can run and see if I get a better score now that the motor is working correctly. So I'll start the game. 
and you'll see that the scenery or the road motor and the road disc is running as fast as it can go and there can't be any accidents because I've got that scan disc uh, block um, and we're accumulating score we're about 25 percent in and we already got a score of 250 260 so leads me to believe that you know we'll probably get a better a better score um, than I was getting before the motor is running more efficiently than it was now that the uh, the brushes are working properly so 530 with about three quarters of the way yeah see I, I never even got a score over I think I couldn't get over 400 before so this would be like a perfect game you should get extended play at 760 see if you actually get an extended time okay it didn't give you any extended time I did hear the uh, the bell ring but it doesn't look like there was any extra time that'll probably be the next thing that I troubleshoot but at least uh, at least now it seems to be working more efficiently I'll try to play the game without the jumper on there and see what kind of score I can get you know if I can get you know, in the sevens, I'd be happy. All right, well, still uh, trying to figure out how to get a better score. Um, after taking out uh, the envelope or the piece of paper that I had on the scan disc um, and trying to play uh, a regular game, I was only really at best, best score would be in the, in the 600s or the 500s. Um, I did notice that the resistor for the uh, the, the road motor, um, the wiper blade, when you press the gas pedal all the way down, it didn't wipe all the way across the resistor, so you were still getting some resistance. Um, and I, I, what I did was I moved the wiper blade back so that when you step on the pedal, the uh, the blade comes all the way back to the end of the resistor, and um, there's maybe you know two or three ohms of resistance. And what I was getting before I moved the blade back was like 15 ohms of resistance um, at full speed. So I ended up getting like another extra hundred points out of it, but I'm still only getting in the 600s with with one or two crashes, which is is not not enough. Um, the next thing I'm going to try to do to get a little more speed out of the motor is I'm going to repack the uh, the grease that's in this. There's like a worm gear uh, inside the uh, inside this casing, um, and the grease is pretty old. And I think I'm going to clean it all out and put some fresh grease in there and see if um, you know that doesn't speed it up a little bit. I think there might be some. Um, friction in there because the grease is so old. We'll give that a try next. Okay, so I've got the motor opened up. Uh, one thing I didn't do when I had it apart before to free up the uh, the brushes. The brushes actually fit right in here, and uh, again they're they're spring loaded and they have a a cap that goes on and holds them in. One of them was frozen. One thing I didn't do when I had the motor apart last time was clean. The, uh, the armature there, so I don't know if that makes any difference or not. Um, when the motor is all apart, it, uh, it seems to move fairly free. Um, you know, the bearings seem to be okay on it. Uh, here is the, uh, the worm gear, and you can see all the grease in there. Um, it, that moves freely too, but I don't know, there's a little bit of friction in there. So maybe by by cleaning the armature, uh, changing the grease, cleaning all the parts there, that, that might help. We'll find out. Okay, so I've got this whole worm gear 
thing broken down and I have it soaking in kerosene and I just got this bright idea went down to Walgreens and bought this um, electric toothbrush um, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go at it and clean the parts as best as I could can um, I thought about buying a, uh, a parts washer um, but I don't really need it all that often so um, I'm gonna give this a try and uh, see how I make out okay finally figured it out so that was a, a game I just scored a 760 on playing a regular game without shorting out the resistor and uh, making the uh, the road motor go as fast as it could I mean that's how I was sort of troubleshooting it I was shorting out the uh, the resistor and letting the motor run at full speed and I was getting scores of like 800 um, but when you played the game um, obviously you can't go full speed the whole game you uh, y you know you're you're constantly pulsing the gas pedal so that you can pass cars and uh, you know, I was only getting scores of about 600, and like I showed you, I was I, I rebuilt the uh, the motor, repacked the grease on it. Um, I had trouble with the brushes. Uh, I tried um, just about everything I could think of, um, and then it, it, the the other thing that I did after I got it back in, it didn't work. I checked the uh, the voltage coming off the rectifier, and the uh, AC voltage uh, was about 34, 35 volts, and the DC voltage coming out of it was about 27. Um, and those motors are supposed to run on 30 volts, so I put in just a regular bridge recti rectifier, um, and I didn't use whatever whatever rectifier they used in the in the 60s. I mean, I got the voltage up to about 30. Uh, so you know there's always a little voltage drop I guess when you when you use a bridge rectifier so I got it up you know maybe 10% um, and still I wasn't getting enough speed out of that motor to get the high score um, so then what I did was I high tapped the transformer you know on transformers you have the low tap and the high tap I put it on the high tap and the game works perfect uh, you get plenty of speed out of the motor um, you can score an average score of uh, of about 760 with you know w with a couple of accidents and I believe uh, in a previous video or earlier in this video I showed you that the um, the 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 average score it shows on this ticket uh, is about 710 to 790 uh, in the uh, in the lower score slot and uh, 810 to 890 in the in the highest score adjustment um, and that's about what I'm getting now uh, which is uh, acceptable so the next thing that I need to work on is to get the extended play to work um, it does it does sound a bell when you score enough points for the extended play but the extended play feature uh, doesn't work uh, and I'll just need to troubleshoot that Okay, thanks for, for watching.